Welcome to our next division strategy, and this is called the Big Seven. This strategy is kind of like traditional long division. Let's go over our vocabulary. Remember that you need to do the example and the non-example for your homework. So give an example of the definition and then also give something that is not the example. So dividend. This is the number in a division problem that is to be divided or broken into equal parts. Divisor. This is a number in the division problem by which the dividend is divided. Quotient. The number that is the answer to a division problem. So let's say that I had 12 divided by 6 equals 2. This is going to be the quotient. This is going to be the divisor. And this is the dividend. If you needed an example of what it looked like in the problem. Let's get started with our first problem. 84 is going to go underneath the house and 7 is going to go on the outside. This is called the big 7 because it mimics what we did in our last flip video with the division area model. Now we're just going to do it in a different way. So I need to see how many times 7 goes into 84. Well, I know that 7 can go into 84 10 times. So I'm going to put 10 over here. Okay? So 7 times 10, I'm going to multiply over here on this side, is going to give me 70. And then I'm going to subtract. And that gives me 14. Now I need to say how many times does 7 go into 14? Well, that would be 2 times because 7 times 2 is 14. And then I subtract and I'm done. I'm going to add the two numbers on this side and that is going to give me 12. So my answer is going to be 12 because 7 times 12 gives me 84. And if I do 12 times 7, I know that's a basic fact and that is going to be 84. Let's look at this again. So I'm going to put 87 under the house and I'm going to put 4 on the outside so this is my dividend this is my divisor I want to see how many times does 4 go into 87 well I know 4 times 20 is going to be 80 so I'm gonna write 80 and I want to know how many times does 4 go into 7 because after I subtracted I had 7 left well, I can't do 2 because 4 times 2 is 8. So I have to do 1. So 4 times 1 is going to be 4. And then I'm going to subtract. 7 minus 4, you can either even count up. 4, 5, 6, 7 is going to be 3. This time I'm going to have a remainder. This number is smaller than this number, so I'm okay. So I'm going to add. I have 21 with a remainder of 3 because this is my remainder so I'm going to put it up here. If I did 21 times 4, that gives me 84, then I have to add my remainder of 3 and that gives me 87. So my answer does check whenever I multiply to check it. Now I've got a three digit number of 453 divided by 4. So, how many times does 4 go into 453? Well, I can start off with 100 times because 4 times 100 is going to be 400. And then I'm going to subtract. And that leaves me with 53. Now, how many times does 4 go into 53? Well, I can say 10 times because 20 times is 80, so that's too high. So I'm going to say 4 times 10 is 40, and I'm going to write 40 under the house. Not the 10, I'm going to write 40 because I'm going to take 4, multiply it by the number on the outside of the house, put the answer underneath, and that gives me 13. Now, how many times can 4 go into 13? That's going to be 3 times because 4 times 3 is 12. 
and then I'm going to subtract and I have a remainder of one. I'm gonna add up my numbers over here and that gives me 113 with a remainder of one. Now, could you have done something like this? Four hundred fifty three and four. I could say four goes into four hundred fifty three one hundred and ten times, and that gives me four hundred and forty. And then I have a remainder of thirteen, and I can do three, put the twelve underneath here, and I could have saved myself a step. I still get the same answer. It's just, I just went about getting that answer a different way. So that's okay too if your mind thinks that way. I'm breaking it down by groups of 10 because that's easier for me to count by. But if you want to count by 110 and you could have even said 113 and that's still okay. Now I have 273 and how many times does two go in there? Well, 2 goes into 273 for sure. I know I can start off with 100. So that's going to be 200. And then I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to say 73. Now, how many times does 2 go into 73? Well, 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times 30 is 60. 2 times 40 is 80. Well, that's too big, so I can say 30. 2 times 30 is 60. So 2 times this 30 is going to be 60. And then I'm going to have 13 left over. Now, how many times does 2 go into 13? Well, that would be 6 because 2 times 6 is going to be 12. You can pick any number you want to as long as it doesn't go over the number in the house. Can't go over the number in the house. So I'm going to say one after I subtract this. Then I'm gonna add everything over here on the side and that gives me 136 with a remainder of one. If I do 136 times two, 12, six, seven, 172, but I have to add that remainder, it's going to give me 173. So I can split 273 into 136 groups of two. I will have one remainder left over that doesn't have a home in the group. Let's go with 196 divided by eight. Well, I cannot do 100 here because it's not gonna work. Because if I did eight times 100, that's 800. That's way over the number in the house. And you can't go over the number in the house. You don't have to land exactly on the number, but you for sure can't go over it. Eight times 10 is what I'm gonna start with. So eight times 10, wait a minute, I'm thinking about that. I can do eight times 20. Eight times 20 is 160. That got me even closer than 80, so I had to readjust. Now I have 36 left over. Well, I could do eight times three, and eight times three is 24. But could I do eight times four? Yes. So eight times this four is gonna be 32. And now I can do six, five, four. Four, is that smaller than eight? Yes, so I am done. If my number down here is larger than this number, then I've done something wrong. Now I can add my answer is going to be 24, but I can't forget my little remainder down here. Remainder four. Now if I wanna check 24 times eight, and eight times two is 16, 17, 18, 19. Then I have to add my little bit of a remainder. And my answer check. So watch this video as many times as you need to and let me know if you need any more help or if you um, need some more directions, I can always do that. So have a great evening and remember to write down your full definition, do your example, non-example, practice your facts. If you're good at multiplication, 
work on your division, and don't forget to do your thing through math.